Um, what, what is that called? The, the anti anti mechanism. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That ship owners were extremely careful about who they shared this technology oh, with. When divers in 1901 discovered a rusty box from an ancient Greek shipwreck near Antikythera, it unexpectedly rewrote history. This wasn't myth, it was the Antikythera mechanism, a real, 2000 plus year old machine, surprisingly sophisticated. Featuring gears, it functioned as a calendar and planet tracker, the oldest known computer on Earth. Its complexity, with precisely engineered gears, stunned modern engineers, suggesting technology far ahead of its time. Initially dismissed as a corroded lump, its true nature was revealed by archaeologists. Scientists later used modern imaging techniques like X-rays and CT scans to uncover its intricate workings. The mechanism was designed to track celestial movements. By turning a crank, users could observe the positions of the Sun, Moon, and the five known planets. It could predict eclipses, display lunar phases, follow the lunar calendar, and even map zodiac signs. The presence of a 223-tooth gear matching the Saros eclipse cycle demonstrated real scientific understanding, not mere guesswork. A small, rotating black and white ball even simulated the moon's phases. This discovery, akin to a miniaturized planetarium, revealed that the ancient world possessed far greater technological prowess than previously understood, raising questions about other lost knowledge and the subsequent, dark ages. The remarkable discovery of the Antikythera mechanism, a corroded and unassuming collection of bronze fragments retrieved from an ancient Greek shipwreck off the coast of the island of Antikythera in 1901, has fundamentally altered our understanding of ancient technological capabilities and the trajectory of human innovation. This artifact, initially overlooked amidst more conventionally recognized treasures such as statues, coins, and jewelry, has proven to be far more significant than its initial appearance suggested. What was once perceived as a mere lump of rock and metal, cracked and encrusted with the patina of over two millennia spent submerged beneath the sea, has been revealed to be an intricate and astonishingly sophisticated mechanical device and analog computer of unparalleled complexity for its time. The true significance of this artifact began to emerge in 1902 when archaeologist Vallejo Stais, upon closer examination of the recovered objects, identified the presence of distinct gears within a fragment of ancient bronze. This seemingly anomalous finding, the existence of precisely engineered gears within an object dating back over 2,000 years, was initially met with skepticism. It defied the prevailing historical understanding of the technological prowess of the ancient world. However, subsequent and increasingly sophisticated scientific investigations, spanning decades and employing cutting-edge technologies such as X-ray imaging and computed tomography CT, scans, have unequivocally confirmed the presence of not just one or two rudimentary gears, but a complex assembly of at least 30 interlocking bronze gears, some of them remarkably small and featuring teeth crafted with such precision that they continue to astound modern engineers. The Antikythera mechanism, roughly the size of a showbox, has been definitively identified as the world's oldest known analog computer. Far from being a decorative object or a simple toy, this device was a sophisticated instrument designed for complex astronomical calculations. It was capable of tracking the movements of the Sun, the Moon, and the five planets known to the ancient Greeks Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. Furthermore, it could predict lunar and solar eclipses with remarkable accuracy display the phases of the moon, follow the intricate cycles of the lunar calendar, and even map the constellations of the zodiac. The presence of a gear with precisely 223 teeth, corresponding exactly to the Saro cycle, a well-known astronomical period used by ancient astronomers to predict eclipses, provides compelling evidence of the advanced scientific understanding embedded within its design. Adding to its ingenuity, the mechanism even incorporated a small, rotating ball, half black and half white, that physically represented the changing phases of the moon as it moved through its celestial cycle. The device has been aptly described as a miniaturized planetarium, a testament to the ingenuity and scientific knowledge of its ancient Greek creators, dating back to the period between 150 and 100 BCE. The sheer sophistication of the Antikythera mechanism, a level of technological advancement that would not be seen again for over a thousand years, until the emergence of complex mechanical clocks in medieval Europe, has profound implications for our understanding of ancient history. It suggests that the ancient world, particularly the Hellenistic civilization that produced this device, possessed a far greater capacity for scientific inquiry, mathematical understanding, and engineering prowess than previously acknowledged.
the very existence of this intricate machine forces us to reconsider the narrative of a linear and consistently progressive march of technological advancement, hinting at periods of significant innovation that may have been subsequently lost or forgotten. This remarkable artifact and its implications have captured the attention of thinkers and researchers across various disciplines, including the popular podcasters Joe Rogan and Graham Hancock, known for their explorations of unconventional historical theories and ancient mysteries. In an episode of The Joe Rogan Experience, recorded on April 23, 2019, Rogan and Hancock engaged in a fascinating discussion centered on the Antikythera mechanism. Hancock, a prominent author and researcher in the field of lost civilizations, described the mechanism not merely as an ingenious gadget but as a genuine ancient Greek computer, complete with gears, dials, and a specific purpose. He elucidated its capabilities in tracking planetary movements, predicting eclipses, and potentially even aiding ancient mariners in navigation, perhaps functioning as an early form of geographical positioning system, GPS. Joe Rogan, visibly captivated and intellectually stimulated by the implications of this discovery, voiced the fundamental question that resonates with so many who encounter the story of the Antikythera mechanism, how could such an advanced device have been conceived and constructed over two millennia ago? Their conversation delved into the extraordinary level of engineering and astronomical knowledge required to create such a machine, emphasizing its anomalous nature within the conventional timeline of technological development. They pondered the fact that no comparable device appeared in the historical record for over a thousand years after its creation, highlighting its incongruence with our traditional understanding of historical progression. This anomaly led Rogan and Hancock to a more profound and somewhat unsettling line of inquiry, if such sophisticated technology existed so long ago, what other knowledge, innovations, and perhaps even entire levels of civilization might have been lost to the vagaries of history? Hancock proposed the intriguing and somewhat chilling idea of forgotten knowledge, suggesting that ancient civilizations may have possessed brilliant minds, advanced tools, and even complex machines that were subsequently lost due to cataclysmic events such as wars, natural disasters, or societal collapses. Joe Rogan, clearly intrigued by this possibility, echoed the sense of awe and unease that often accompanies the contemplation of lost knowledge. Their discussion moved beyond the mere mechanics of the Antikythera mechanism to its broader philosophical and historical implications, exploring what this single artifact might reveal about the cyclical nature of human progress and the potential for significant advancements to be erased from our collective memory. The scientific community's eventual deciphering of the Antikythera mechanism's operational principles, while a triumph of modern research and analytical techniques, has paradoxically left a lingering sense of unease and a profound set of unanswered questions. While we now possess a detailed understanding of how the intricate network of gears work to model the cosmos, this very understanding underscores the immense intellectual and engineering capabilities of its creators and simultaneously highlights the subsequent and prolonged absence of such sophisticated technology. The fact that the ancient Greeks, over 2,000 years ago, could construct a machine capable of accurately tracking celestial movements, predicting astronomical events, and embodying such a deep understanding of mathematical and astronomical cycles, only serves to amplify the perplexing question of why this level of technological sophistication did not lead to a more immediate and sustained trajectory of similar innovations. Why didn't the principles embodied in the Antikythera mechanism pave the way for the early development of more complex mechanical devices, perhaps even rudimentary forms of computation, timekeeping with greater precision, or even early optical instruments like the telescope? The historical record reveals a stark and unsettling silence in this regard. Following the creation of the Antikythera mechanism, the technological trail for devices of comparable complexity goes cold for over a thousand years. We find no evidence of upgrades, no surviving copies, no indication of a sustained tradition of such sophisticated mechanical engineering. It is as if this one extraordinary machine appeared as an isolated burst of genius and then vanished, leaving behind a profound and enduring mystery. This abrupt cessation of such advanced technological development is what imparts a sense of unease and even a sense of loss to the otherwise triumphant act of deciphering the mechanism's secrets. It strongly suggests that something significant may have been lost to history, not just the specific knowledge required to build such a device, but perhaps a broader framework of scientific inquiry, mathematical understanding, and engineering practices. Graham Hancock, drawing on his extensive research into lost civilizations and ancient cataclysms, interprets the Antikythera mechanism not merely as a fascinating historical artifact but as a potent warning. 
It serves as tangible proof that human progress is not necessarily a linear and continuously upward trajectory. Civilizations can rise to remarkable heights of intellectual and technological achievement only to subsequently fall, with their knowledge and innovations potentially being lost, buried, forgotten, or even deliberately wiped out by catastrophic events. The Antikythera mechanism, in this view, is not just a cool and intriguing gadget from the ancient world, it is a stark and sobering reminder of the fragility of human progress and the potential for advanced knowledge to be irretrievably lost to the relentless passage of time and the tumultuous events of history. The mystery of its workings may have been solved, but the larger mystery of its isolated existence and the subsequent technological silence continues to provoke deep thought and a sense of profound loss for what might have been. The Antikythera mechanism, initially a fragmented puzzle of 82 corroded pieces, remained largely incomprehensible for decades, deemed too fragile and damaged for thorough study. However, advancements in technology allowed scientists in 2005 to launch a comprehensive investigation. Utilizing powerful X-ray CT scans, they were able to peer through the metallic layers without causing further damage, revealing intricate layers of gears, minuscule inscriptions, and patterns that gradually began to make sense. This technological scrutiny unveiled a complex arrangement of 30 gears, with tooth counts precisely matching known astronomical cycles, including an exact match for the eclipse cycle and a long-term tracker for Venus. This precision indicated a deliberate and purposeful design. Researchers collaborated globally, constructing digital models and 3D reconstructions. They even discovered faint Greek writing etched onto the mechanism's surface, inscriptions unseen for millennia which described planetary movements and astronomical cycles essentially a hidden blueprint. In 2021, a team from University College London presented the most complete model of the Antikythera mechanism to date, illustrating the interconnectedness of its dials and pointers as a comprehensive cosmic calculator, predating modern science by centuries. The functionality was confirmed by building working replicas. Yet, a fundamental question persists, if the ancient Greeks possessed the knowledge and skill to construct such a sophisticated device, why did this level of technology not proliferate?